Hello crafters, this is Suzanne from A Creative Muse and welcome to the Envelope of Wonder, Wonder, Wonder Collection. <laughs> I love the name so much. Envelope of Wonder Collection. Oh, this one, lovely. Six items in the entire collection, but they are just all so good. But before I get started on this video, let's talk about some crafty news. First, this is the last day of the $25 discount at Spellbinders. If you spend $125 or more, you'll get $25 off your purchase automatically applied to your cart. Two thumbs up. This is the last day. Now, Spellbinders is on the West Coast. So if you're on the East Coast, you have all the way into late into the night to go ahead and use that discount to apply over all these nine collections and everything else. Two thumbs up. Number two, the sweepstakes where you can enter to win the Advent calendars for 2023 that's two calendars but it doesn't stop there no you also will win a brand new platinum six die cut machine and that brand new platinum six die cut machine will come with the universal plate system built into it so you can then cut all your 3d embossing folders thumbs up. So I will provide the link for you to enter the sweepstakes. It's only open to U.S. and Canadian residents. Number three, there is the Colossal Card Making Bundle. In that bundle, which is specially priced at $100, has a retail value of $420. You are getting seven, yes, seven card making kits. And these are Spellbinders Big card making kits the ones that include cardstock dies stamp pattern paper envelopes card bases die cuts stickers there's ephemera in there <laughs> and you get a nice box that you can use so you can stack your boxes you have the opportunity to make tons of cards even if you give away three or four of those kits as gifts you still can make a ton of cards. I took my calculator out. These seven kits are coming in at an average of $14.29 per kit. Oh my goodness, what a steal. If you love your Spellbinders card making kits, this is the one for you. What a great bargain, steal, deal, the colossal card making bundle. Yay. So I will put a link for that as well. All right, moving on. If you have been waiting for the longest time, I've spoken about this a few times too. For these two items from Better Press, they are back in stock. Always and forever sentiment strips. Love, love, love. This one, she is a winner. I showed it before in another video. I'll show it here again. This is with the large die of the month, the pomegranate set. Here it is. Hello, sweet friend. Winner if you have the better press system. Love, love, love. Back in stock always and forever. Also, there is a little message sentiments. This also has all these sentiments and the coordinating die. Both of these were sold out everywhere. Now back in stock. So if you've been waiting, here they are. Now let's get into this wonderful envelope of wonder, 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 wonder collection. <laughs> Let's get started. In the envelope of Wonder Collection, there are four die sets. There is also a better press, press plate and coordinating die set. I know it looks like a mess. I'll talk about why it looks so messy when I get to that. <laughs> and also a coordinating stamp to this set. Now with the stamp, you won't get the die because the die is over here, but it does match up. If you do have the better press system, you can get this, but you can also get this just depending on what you want because on the outside, you could use this. On the inside, you could then stamp all of that. Yay. I'm going to do the video in parts seeing that this is the main die set for everything else. First up, this is the envelope of wonder dies. You get everything here. It's so big. <laughs> I even had to put a second part on the back. This is the base starter die set for the whole envelope of wonder collection. It comes with what you need to make the envelope. So that's the base of the envelope. I'm gonna show you here on the back. Also this flap here and the two sides, and then this little, let's call it a rim up here. 
that gives you the opportunity to change the color, really customize your envelope, meaning that it will look like it has a lining, etc. This was the first example that I made. And then when I got into the second, third, and fourth, of course, things change as it always does once you make something again and again. Absolute fun. Out the gate winner. Love this set. And this envelope also comes with a score line. So you can fold this envelope and tuck it into that little slit right there. But this is really meant to have this look like a stuffed envelope. But Spellbinders gave you the option that if you just need an envelope, flip it down. There it is. And you're also getting an envelope. You know who that is. Spellbinders Elf. <laughs> Four and a half inch wide. Bye. I'm going to go with just the envelope fully assembled three and three quarters of an inch now if you leave it open you're looking at six inches so six inches by four and a half you could use your envelope punch board to then make an envelope or put it in a five by seven envelope those are more readily available but you can also use your envelope punch board if you want to customize an envelope for this so love look at this and none of them i have put on card bases yet I've just completed the envelopes, so then I'll probably do another video then if I put them on a card base. Let me bring in this one. This is from Stitched for Christmas. So if you were to put it on a card base, this is a 5 by 7 card base. You're looking at something like that. So you could then have an embossing folder in the back and then this. Let's see. There's an embossing folder right there. You see what I'm saying? That's kind of pretty too. Yeah, liking it with the embossing folder. But I was just making these... And I wanted to show you that you could also make a shaped card too. Cut another one of this and then put that um, score line and have it open. This first one that I made is with everything here. All of these bits. So you get loads of florals as you can see. I try to keep mine in order for my sanity. <laughs> I love this little sprig spray flower that's the main flower that's the center for it then we have this um blooming one with the center here i put a little gem on it this piece that is a riser for in here if you want to make it more 3d but i used it on one of the other examples you'll see and it was pushing through here so for me i'm going to show you what i did differently to raise this up naturally mini album experience <laughs> let's call it that but the instructions were when you attach these pieces you put it on the outside for the rest of them i put them on the inside i'll show you what i mean when we get to that part but very easy to make you just die cut it fold on the score line put some tape and then assemble the envelope and then you leave this part open to tuck all these goodies in here are the leaves. I love this one just, oh, so much. And everything else. It's just so much choices, opportunity, play, just loads of fun. Lots of Spellbinders cardstock in here. This also comes with this awesome little tag. Here is the tag with Sentiments of Wonder. Better press right here. This is with porcelain cotton card cut out with the coordinating die. So now I'm going to go into this. Because this font, and usually I can read on dies, I can even read on the glimmer backward, but this, I just could not read it. So for my sanity, because you are getting 14 cutting dies, 20 press plates, 20 because you're also getting this, which doesn't have a coordinating die. So there are 14 sentiments in here. If I just laid them out, I would sit there forever trying to find the coordinating die. So for me... You don't have to do this. I know it doesn't look pretty. In the future, for my sanity, I put one set and then I put what it is. Christmas wishes in clothes. Sending birthday wishes. Congrats on your special day. All of that coming all the way up. There's even one for Halloween. To my favorite ghoul. From me to you, you brighten my day. And then there's the six bits if you want to do little swirly details. That's what's here. Normally, I can flip to the front, but because of the coordinating die and everything else, it was easier for me to write it out. Now, notice on the other one I just showed you that's back in stock. This I don't have to write out because I can read this. It's a bigger font. This is a much smaller, more slanted, scripty font. So it's hard for me to read it backwards. So if you do get this set, you can make yourself a little cheat sheet. This is my version of a cheat sheet, okay? There is also 
the coordinating stamps. So I can stamp this out and cut it. I think I like the stamps to be like on the inside because I do like the whole better press look on the outside. This is popped up off the tag in the background. I have the flower and everything else is just all die cuts and tucking away. The hot pink, that one is the Concord and Ninth Dragon Fruit cardstock. So love. Here, that's the Vivant, Vivant. <laughs> I don't know the name. I keep calling it Vivant. I'm going to just call it Vivant. This whole line of beautiful ribbons, trims, and cords at Spell Binders that have been selling out. I wanted to get the thin ribbon, but now I've been using this twine lately. Oh, I am so loving the twine. Spell Binders sent me a sample of it. You'll get the whole spool if you place an order. This is that beautiful pink right there. With the Better Press Christmas, I use that light green. There's a dark green, red, navy. Now there's this beautiful mauve light pink. Isn't she pretty? With gold in every single one of them. Has that gold swirl glittery look. I don't know what it is. It's just pretty. I'm going to just put a general link to the Vivant page at Spellbinder so you can then look at all the products. So this is the Envelope of Wonder die set. You have to get this one. 31 dies. So totally worth it. You're getting 31 dies plus you're getting the envelope and you can turn the envelope into an envelope. So then you could put a little note card and doodads. So you'll be seeing that one from me again because I'm going to be playing with it some more. Up next, Christmas. Christmas Wonder dies love. You can tell, right? <laughs> so when I made the first one, this is feeling my way through it. This is now, oh, I'm going to have fun. It's all Christmas goodness here. There's a lot of elements in this one that I truly love. And I did not write down the count of how many dies. I'll put it here on the screen. You get different styles of bows, an ornament, another ornament, poinsettia, holly leaves, smaller holly leaves, Candy cane, pine cone, which looks almost like a Christmas pudding thing. It's just so pretty. I just love this look so much. This square one, though, I'm not sure if this is supposed to be a cookie. That's the only one I'm like, hmm, these two, not 100%. Then you also get the candy. So here is the pine cone. There is the candy. Of course, Mr. Gingerbread. Gotta love the gingerbread. Love this little gingerbread guy. That ornament. Here you're seeing the ornament. This is a cover for the ornament. Look at the poinsettias. This one I made using pattern paper from my stash. Now, if you're looking at those edges and you're like, wow, Suzanne, because when you fold pattern paper, a lot of times you're going to get lovely cracking. So instead of just folding immediately, I fold against itself and then on the right side. Now, you notice how I'm getting natural height here in this center part. See the height? That's because on the back, this is white cardstock. This is not even 110 pound cardstock. This is just white textured basil. This same cardstock is here, the back of it. You notice that I did something different. These flaps are now on this base, on the inside, not on the outside. If you want your envelope to be slimmer, flatter, maybe for mailing, go this route. If you want to have a little dimension, more room to tuck, put it on the inside. If you need me to do a video to show you what I'm talking about, just post in the comments and I'll do a quick video on what I mean here because there are two ways of doing it. Flatter, not so flat, but you do get natural height here. You see what I mean? Love that. This is just how I usually do pockets for mini albums. You put it on the base, not around it. So here is the poinsettia. I chose this light green, white, touches of brown, red, pink. This whole pattern paper set off all of this. There is one of the sentiments again from the Sentiments of Wonder, Christmas Wishes Enclosed. I know exactly where it's at. That's why I wrote everything out. I mean, I do have a label maker. I have no idea how to use it and I have no idea where it's at. <laughs> It would have been prettier, but I was like, oh no, I can't read this. So <laughs> layered up two layers of this, but it does press very well and is so pretty. Look at all the goodness. So this is just all die cutting and layering. You can add as much as you want, take out as much as you want. You can then convert this into just a standard envelope with a note and put just the gingerbread on it and you're done. You don't have to go 
all of this, but boy, the, all of this is nice. Look at that bow. That bow can go anywhere. That's this right here. So pretty. I love the bow. So I put the bow on the ornament. That touch of pink in there. So that is Christmas Wonder Dies. Love, love, love. Winner. Next we have Halloween Wonder Dies. So you see how this completely looks different. Look at the variety. And I could have put pattern paper out here, but I decided to go black, put the pattern paper on the inside. Here on the inside, see how the rim, I put this paper. This gives you the option to give that look of customization. So you put the pattern paper, then I just did the rim in black. Here, I did the rim in this color. Just play, have fun and play. This is another one that you could invite folks in who are not crafters and you guys can make a bunch of these customized envelopes so this one black cardstock and i'm using basil cardstock because of the texture i love the texture here on the envelope okay if you want to double the layer it is a perfect mirror on the back so if you cut it out and you're looking at the back and the back is let's say this is not covered. See how you're seeing all of this? You can cut another one and put it straight on the top. They mirror each other either way you go. Love that too. Very, very clean. See how you're seeing all of this? I can cover this cover with a clean one because they fit perfectly. So you can have it looking good both forward and back for the recipient. Put in some of these candies. They're the bats. We have a large bat, a small bat. Then you can layer your bat. And then we have the ghosts. Oh, these ghosts are giving me life. I love the ghosts. They are just adorable. Use my white jelly roll pen again just to add some character to those eyes. So they're not just black eyes. And then here is the tombstone that layers up on the tombstone. Love this little web. It does fit this top part, but I also tucked it in here at the bottom and I did it in white. You get a cat. That is the little pumpkin hat for your cat. And here is a detail for your cat. You can do the eyes and the ears, okay? Candy corn, the base and the layering. This is that candy swirl with the stick. Boo, here is the boo. Love, love, love. And yes, I put it in this order purposely. So every time I come back to this every year, I'll know this goes with this, this goes with that. That's how I like to lay out my dies, just in order. I don't just throw them on because if I throw them on, I won't know what is what. <laughs> so this just came together so easy. It was a lot of tucking in. If you're looking at this now, this is acetate. This is thicker acetate. See? So I didn't use thin acetate, thick acetate. But you see how it's standing up, isn't it? So I put the ghost here and my little bat. But isn't that so cute? Here, happy haunting. Some of you will know what this is if you watched my Better Press Halloween and Fall video. Halloween icons. Could I have put this here? Probably. But I love the sentiments here. Just have a whole pack that I had cut. And I just pulled out Happy Haunting. And I put the little liner. There is like two layers of black cardstock underneath Happy Haunting. And popped up. Just laid out across here and with the ghost. So love. On my bats, I put some silver metallic ink because I didn't want to just have black. It would have been too matchy-matchy. And I love the little candy swirls. Love. In the back, that pattern paper, that's from Doodlebug, okay? You know, funny enough, Spellbinders does carry Doodlebug. <laughs> I'll put a link for their Doodlebug because I noticed they have some pattern papers. Not a ton, but they do have pattern paper. Look at those little candies. Love, love, love. So that one is Halloween Wonders with the Halloween Icons Better Press Plate. So love. If you want to make it even spookier, then you can go into these images right here. Yay! So this envelope is just your blank canvas to play. And Spellbinders has given you all the seasons of play with this collection. Could you also use some of your other dyes? Let's say you got this, but you want to incorporate Bebo Blooms, Holiday Blooms, of course. Holiday Blooms can work with all of this too, but some of these elements in here, <laughs> so good. So get what speaks to you and then put some of the other things in your wish list. And these elements can work outside of the envelope because these are just all icons, all of this fall one. So this one is now Autumn Wonder Dies. Mushrooms. Layering up mushrooms. You Do you guys call this toadstools or mushrooms? I call them mushrooms, but you know what I mean. Fabulous. Small, large. 
Then acorn, small acorn, pumpkin. Uh, is this a gourd or a squash? But the toppers for it is here. Now with your pumpkin, you get a small one, a small topper, or a swirly topper. Thumbs up to the Spellbinders elf. I love both choices. So I don't have to sit there clipping this off. I like that it comes with the both choices. Then a lovely sprig. As you can see, I put it all throughout here. This is the only piece I didn't use. Then here, all this fall greenery. Great sizing too, like over an inch, about an inch and a quarter square. I have them in here. And then I went back to the original set and tucked in this one also right here. And then on the top of it, I just put some glossy accent just for a little bit of fun. I still am using basil cardstock. This is French vanilla. On the inside, I just have some pattern paper from my stash in that blue color. So this is like fall with a touch of teal in it. I have a pumpkin and then one of the sentiments. Sentiments of wonder. Grateful for your friendship. Love, 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 love. Okay, crafters. Here is the gorgeousness <laughs> and fun with the Envelope of Wonder collection. This is another one, I tell you. I am linking below every single collection in this August release. There are nine collections. I am linking them separately because looking at them as a whole, you may miss little goodies and little touches seeing them more condensed where this is only six pieces is easier for you to go i want this i'll take that i'll skip this etc you know what i mean or i'll put this in my wish list but then again that gingerbread is saying hi i'm so cute <laughs> the collection is so big look at what i've had to do I know it says 11. I personally had to type it out because I'm working with a lot of these collections. It is nine. It's just because I separated fall from Halloween. But wow, so much goodies for August. So take your time. Shop for what is speaking to you. And the range is fast and wide, okay? Don't forget to also enter for that sweepstakes. Get yourself those advent calendars, two of them, and a new Platinum 6 die cut machine. Hello. Yay. <laughs> Alrighty, crafters. Everything will be detailed and linked below. Until the next video, stay crafty, my friends. Thanks so much for watching. This one is another Knocked It Out The Part winner. You can play within this collection, outside of this collection, use this envelope, and create your own little cards, etc. Just loads of opportunity and play within envelopes of wonder, wonder, wonder. <laughs> That's probably why it's called wonder. So much in here. Alrighty, crafters, until the next video. Stay crafty, my friends. Bye.